We lost a good one the other day. Actor David L. Lander, the man who brought Andrew Squigman to life, succumbed to a disease that had been creating challenges for him since 1984. Complications from multiple sclerosis is what led to Lander's early departure. He was just 73 years old. I have so many fond memories of Lander and Squiggy, the character that he brought to life on Laverne and Shirley. Truthfully, when that show debuted way back in 1976, it was always these two cats, Lenny and Squiggy, that I really looked forward to seeing. Whenever they showed up in an episode, well, they just seemed to make everything a little funnier. Laverne and Shirley ran on the ABC television network until 1983, and over the course of those eight seasons, there was a heck of a lot of Lenny and Squiggy to enjoy. That said, in the back of my head, I always kind of thought it would be great if they had their own spin-off show. It never happened. Maybe the producers felt like a little Lenny and Squiggy went a long way. But if they did think that, I just have to respectfully disagree. You can never get enough of the comedic talents of Michael McKean and David Lander. These two actors had such wonderful chemistry together. Great comedic duos know how to play off each other for even bigger laughs. It's truly an art form and Michael and David, well they had perfected it. One small bit of trivia is that the characters of Lenny and Squiggy were created prior to the television show Laverne and Shirley. McKean and Lander had met while studying at Carnegie Mellon University and after graduating both of them had joined a comedy group called the comedic gap. It was there that Lenny and Squiggy were born. Throughout Laverne and Shirley's run, Lander, along with McKean, were professional in every way. Every single day they showed up and they comported in a way that let cast and crew know that they were grateful to have this job. They knew that they'd been blessed and that the show was not going to last forever. And they did everything that they could to enjoy the ride for however long it would last. Due to MS, much of David's later work had been voice acting. In 2002, his autobiography was published. It was titled Fall Down Laughing, How Squiggy Caught Multiple Sclerosis and Didn't Tell Nobody. I'll post a link to it in the description field just in case you're interested in picking up a copy. When all is said and done, David L. Lander will be remembered for his undaunting positivity and optimism, even when facing health challenges that quite frankly, would drag most of us down. And McKean and Lander would remain lifelong friends, which is exactly what I would expect of these two. When Lander passed away, McKean was one of the first to tweet about it. Instead of trying to come up with the right words, he just tweeted a picture of the two of them together. And you know what? That picture truly was worth a thousand words. Okay, that's all I have today. Here's where I'm going to end this one. Let's go with a little bit of holiday magic. Why not? It's the time of year. So Squiggy's an elf, but what the heck is Lenny? Some sort of sugar plum fairy? All right, please share your memories in the comments section of this video. And if you enjoyed this little trip down memory lane, please give it a thumbs up. That's how I'll know if I should make more videos like this one. And I would be honored if you would consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I talk about music, movies, and mostly television from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. You know the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.